Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. This person is sent into your life to get married to you. Yes, chosen one. But the question is, who sent this person? The person can be sent by the enemy of your soul. And at the same time, it could be that God sent this person. If it is God that has sent this person into your life to get married to you, then I tell you, that is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. It's going to be blessings. It's going to be enjoyment. Yes, chosen one. It's going to be great. Even though there are testing time, but because the two of you agree, when there is mutual love that exists between the two of you, there is going to be a bond that is going to connect the two of you to become one. One in your mental thinking, one in your flesh, one in your spirit. You are going to be one in body, soul, and spirit. And I tell you, with such a person, you are going to reach the highest peak in life. There is nothing that you cannot surmount. There is nothing that you cannot achieve. There is nothing that you cannot overcome. Because love overcomes everything. Yes, love conquers all. Love is powerful. Is the highest force of the universe. When it, it is real and it is genuine and there is no selfish motive behind it, I tell you, it's going to be of so much blessing to you as a chosen one. On the other hand, if this person is sent by the agent of the devil into your life, then this person is sent to keep you down, to keep you in bondage to keep you in pain, to keep you enduring instead of blessings and enjoyment and instead of loving you for who you are, is going to be full of regret. You will always be soaking your pillow with tears and you'll be like, ah, it is better I didn't marry. Yes, chosen one, marriage is a blessing and at the same time, it can be an unwise thing on your part, depending on the kind of person that you are as a chosen one. I'm telling you, yes, there are people that are meant to be alone. And there are people that are meant to be together. Which type of person are you? Are you the type that function well when you are alone? If you do well when you are alone, you become so creative and innovative and you can go about your moves. You, you love your solitude, right? You love to be alone. You love to do things alone and you don't feel boredom. You feel okay. You feel all right with yourself. But you realize that when somebody is with you, you don't feel okay. You feel like, you know, there is a load on you. All right, you, the presence of people is like a burden to you, or a, the presence of a particular person is like a burden to you. Then you, this type of person, you are born to be alone. I'm telling you, you are a higher soul. You are a high soul, and such a person, alone, being alone, right, is a blessing to you. So you must know yourself. Are you this type? If you are this type, when you get married, it's going to be of problem to you. Instead of a blessing and enjoyment, you are going to be enduring. You are going to be in pain. You are going to be hurt. You are going to be miserable. I'm telling you, when you get into it, you realize that all that you've labored for, for this world, you are going to lose everything to the extent that if you don't take care, you will go begging. Yes, you go begging and you ask yourself why. Since I get married to this person, life has been so difficult for me. Life has been so tough for me. 
Yes, sometimes in life, you need to know yourself. Let wisdom guide you because it's not everybody that is here to get married. Oh, yes, chosen one. So know yourself and don't feel pressured. Don't let people push you into getting married. You got to know who you are as a chosen one. Because chosen one, it is not all that glitters that is good. I'm telling you. I know of many married people today that are regretting, that are only enduring, that are in pain. Know yourself. Know the person you're going in for. Seek the face of God together. And if it is meant to be, I tell you, God is not going to hide anything from you. If it is not meant to be, I tell you, God will allow you to go your separate ways. So always keep putting God first in whatever you do. I tell you, chosen one, some people come into your life to ask for your hand in marriage just to keep you down. And some people come into your life to get married to you, to help you elevate, to help you grow, to help you achieve your mission, your vision here on earth. To some of you, marriage is going to slow down your vision and your mission. Yes, to some people, marriage, commitment to the other person is going to slow down the vision, is going to slow down the mission. So you must know yourself before you get into it. Yes, it is better not to get into it than to get into it and be living in self-pity, in regret, in misery, and in pain and in hurt. I tell you, a lot of people have been caught in there. They are trapped. They've been, they've been kept down there. Meanwhile, such people are born eagles. They are born to fly alone into a more higher altitude. They are born to, I mean, overcome whatever storm. They are born to pursue their vision, to have accurate vision, to be in their mission and their purpose. But because of marriage today, they are down there and there is no growth there is no advancement in life chosen one chosen one know yourself all right know who you are let wisdom guide you to some of you you know that there is no way you can stay alone yes to some of you you know for sure that mm, i need a partner in order to advance in order to grow you see, some people come into your life and want to get into marriage with you because they see it as business. Because to them, they weigh everything and they realize that it's going to be of benefit to them. Some people, they realize that mm, you've toiled all this while you've made it. All right? You made it. So they just want to attach themselves to you to bear your name in addition in order to make them get to where they want to. And I tell you, such people, they don't really come in, in for the love, but they are coming in for the possessions, the properties, the things you've labored for all this while. Well. Yes, and such people are the people that the slightest test that comes is going to separate you. And if you don't take care, you know, you're going to share everything with them. And <laughs> most people regret for entering into it. So analyze everything carefully. Check, seek for the spirit of discernment to know the motive, the reason, the main reason why people come into your life and why that person wants you to, to, to go into that partnership with. That, that You need to know that, all right? And God is not gonna hide such things from, from you. Sometimes there are so many red flags that shows that this person is not meant for you. But because we've been blinded, because maybe the affection is sweet, yes, romantically the person is sweet, you feel like, yeah, that is uh, all you need. You enter into it and you realize that mm, it is one of the bad decisions that you've ever taken. Chosen one for this reason, you need to, I mean, be very much 
careful because to some of you, you can be single and live a happy, great life and you are really, really going to have impact on the life of many people. You are going to be of a blessing to so many people. But if you marry, marry, marriage is going to keep you from not reaching out to these people. Yes, I'm telling you, chosen one. So be careful of who you choose as a partner. Marriage can be one of the bad decisions you've ever taken. And it can also be one of the best decisions that you ever take as a chosen one. All right? So the ball is in your court. It is up to you to know yourself. Are you the type that you function well when you are with somebody? Or are you the type that, you know, you function well when you are alone? Know yourself and know who you created to be. And take a decision based on that. Not on the opinions of people, not on family pre uh, pleasure, pressure or whatever that people keep pushing you into. Know yourself and know what is good for you as a chosen one. I'm telling you. Okay? I'm telling you. There are people that are single that are achieving great things than people that are married. Yes. And there are people too that are married that are achieving great things together as one family, as one than somebody who choose not to marry. So there is nothing wrong with it. There is nothing bad about it. But it all depends on you and your decision and the person you're choosing as a life partner, chosen one. That's it. All right. In whatever decision that you take, I want you to understand that there is no real loss in life. If you choose to marry, that is great. You will have somebody with you. You will learn how to care for somebody. You will learn how to relate with somebody. You will learn how to compromise. You will learn how to commit to somebody. You will learn how to act as if you count. You will learn how to um, seek the opinion of somebody. You know, feel the warmth of somebody always around you. Right? And that is great. And if you are not married to, or maybe you marry and you divorce, there is no loose in it. You will learn how to be single, how to take care of yourself, how to cherish your own solitude, how to do things for yourself, and how to, I mean, cherish your single life. All right? So, in whatever way, there is no loose. You can learn from whatever thing that has happened, right? So you need to lighten up, right? You need to lighten up and always try to obey your spirit of discernment, right? Great chosen one. You see, as I said, there is no loose in life. Have you um, lost some huge sum of money? Remember, money goes, money comes. Money comes, money go. So far as you have life, you can make it all again. You can have it all again. It is all up to you. You are not stuck in anything. You can rise again. Know that you are born a conqueror, a warrior. But let wisdom guide you in whatever decision that you take. And when you take a decision and it doesn't end up with you well, it is about you learning from your mistakes and moving on. Remember to remember that mistakes are always correctable. Yes, mistakes are always correctable. You can correct your mistakes and you will start moving forward again. When you fall, make sure you don't remain where you fell. Get back, bounce back, and, you know, get things right. Okay, God loves you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.